Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a budget with me for October. For anyone who's new to my channel, I uh, get paid monthly but I split my cash into four weeks. So what I do is I um, write everything down monthly and then I just see what I want stuff into each week. So it's not a set amount as such. So to get started I'm going to go all the way to October. Now this is what my October calendar is looking like. So in terms of things that I've got on, um, I've got pumpkin picking which is already paid for and I've got a Halloween party on the 29th as well which is already paid for, that's for the kids. Um, I've got my nephew's party on Sunday which I need to get my gift for um, and then I start work on the Tuesday so there's not much else going on. I've got a meal out on the 9th um, but apart from that there's nothing really going on so I've laid out here all my um, weeklies and my sinking funds and I'm on SMP at the moment, this is my last month of SMP. Next month is my first month of unpaid leave um, for maternity but I am doing 10 shifts between that time so I'll get a, a little drop of money but it won't be until the following month so um, next month I'll be taking from my savings just to do obviously the month of October, well, the month of November. Um, but yeah, I'll just need to wait and see. Um, absolutely crazy that we're coming into October already. But I'm just going to go with it. So I'm going to just pop this into the one page and hopefully you'll be able to follow along. For anybody who is new here, um, this is just the way that I do it. I'm not a professional. Um, I just find that this is the way that I budget. This is the easiest way I found that I budget. Um, and since starting a year ago, I have obviously chopped and changed it a lot of times um, to find a way that does work for me. And again, I might change it in the future. I might change next month. It just, at the moment, this is working. Um, so it's the way I do it. I have done a, like a first budget with me video um, for people who are beginners, if you'd like to start the cash stuff in. That is in like a few videos ago. It's in a playlist that's like um, budget with me's. So go and check that out if you do fancy starting to cash stuff or you're just not sure how to start. Um, you don't need all this fancy stuff. It's just I got this planner from Amazon for I think it was like twelve pounds at the time. But I think it's up to fifteen. Um, and honestly, I just love this planner, especially for like doing my budgets. Um, and yeah, so. To start off, with my SMP, I'm getting paid £720. Now, my £720 is actually all of my bills. My bills come to £715 from my account. Now, that includes the electricity, the gas. I also pay for the wedding. Um, I do, like, £300 a month. I pay the loans off my card as well. Um, I've actually got it split up here, one sec. <clears throat> so this is all of our bills. Um, this month I've actually got a transfer ticket as well, so that's a wee bit more about than obviously what I would intend doing. Um, but this is all of our bills, most of them are from my account and some of them are from the joint account. I usually highlight them but I've not finished completing this page as you can see. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so my fiancé is very understanding. He actually just gives me a good chunk of his money that he obviously earns. He does all the extras and stuff. That's our agreement within our couple. Um, he does all the extras because his job is better money for an easier job, basically. Um, which is why he does the extras and not me. Um, and he also is on like a variable pay. So he just kind of checks how much he gets each month. And then um, we kind of like agree on a price to put into the joint account for me to work out with for like everything and then he'll keep some of his money um for himself so this month he's given the joint account 2000 um and then all of our bills well I'm not even counting on my bills because um that covers my bills alone but the joint account bills actually come to 806 pounds 
So for this cash stuff, and until I get back into my normal pay, I will just be using the joint account money to work out this. So we've got 2,000 minus 806, and that leaves us with 1,184. Okie doke. So, on here, this is meant to be for your fixed expenses, it's meant to be for your bills, but I actually use it just for my weeklies and my sinking funds because um, I just don't have enough space in this book, to be honest, sometimes, like, for everything. Um, because I've got way too many sinking funds. That's not a book's, <laughs> the book's fault, that's my fault. So, we're going to take this one line out, and we're just going to reset it, just because... Um, and the groceries actually gets £70 a week. Now, October's only a four-week month, so that's going to equal um, to £280. So I'm just going to minus £280. Household, I put £5 a week, so that's going to be £20. Fuel, I'm going to put... Um, I think it's 140 so for week one I'm going to do 60 then 20 then 40 then 20 so that's 140 that just kind of works out for us so the 60 pounds is like the bulk of the fuel um and then obviously just kind of like putting 20 the next week and then 40 the following week it just kind of bulks it out again we are quite comfortable with this um yeah I'm fine with that also I just want to say that I've actually upped my um gas and electric we're on a prepayment meter i usually put about 110 pounds into the meters like combined um but i've upped that up to 150 so i'm going to be doing um probably just 75 and 75 i'll just wait and see um what i was actually considering doing was maybe doing 15 50 and then putting the extra 50 into a monzo pot just in case i need it because i noticed that we're getting um the payment like the payment bill help thing I, I can't remember what it's called the scheme and um, where you're getting 400 pounds over the course of six months um so i think that starts next month so i'll just maybe wait and see i'm not sure yet miscellaneous i'm putting 20 pounds in that's five pounds a week and in spending i'm doing uh, 40 pounds that's 10 pounds a week as well now days out it usually gets 50 but i'm just putting 40 this week just because it is in nursery and we've got the couple of things that we have got planned for like Halloween I've already been paid for. So um, yeah, we've got that. And I know we've got the October holidays, but then I've got some money in the school holidays folder for that. So it's fine. Now Lucas, I'm actually putting him up to 80 because he's kind of gone up in the sizes for nappies. And because of that, they're more expensive for the less amount. Um, and just in general, I'm just feeling like if we do need anything extra for him, and now that he's getting into weaning and stuff like bibs or whatever then that 80 pounds is going to be perfect for that okie doke so myself i'm actually not getting anything my self-care i'm going to pop uh 20 pounds into just to start building that back up i have just got my hair done um this month so i'll be another kind of like six weeks before i need that done my mum i'm actually putting 20 pounds into Grace is getting 25 and I've just realised i have forgetting to actually take these away. Um, minus 282. Minus 282. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Apologies if you can hear my neighbours. I, I think they've got people over. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's happening there. <laughs> um, 80. I did 40 for my mum and self-care. And minus 50 for the kids. <clears throat> Okie doke. So Ryan, I'm actually going to start saving for his like Christmas and stuff. So Ryan's getting 30. So minus 30 and then the way I do it after I've kind of got like the people out the way is I actually do kind of like in priority so I'm going to turn over to this page just for a minute 
Now I'm definitely wanting to do emergency, so I'm going to put £40 into emergency. Now I realise that emergency might not look like it's a priority for me just because I'm putting £40 a month in, but once I've completed this challenge, which saves you £1,275, I'm going to be putting the majority of it into my emergency to make up to a thousand so I'm not too concerned about emergency right now it's just that obviously with being on half pay I can't afford it and um, it's quite simple so why have I got that oh my goodness <laughs> let's, let's try this third time lucky let's see 280 minus 20 minus 140 Minus 20, minus 80, minus 80, minus 40, minus 50, minus 40. Okay. Now, I'm going to put 20 pence into appliances because I want to start saving for a fridge. So I'm going to knock that off. Um, clothing, I, I just put some money into clothing so I'm not going to bother putting anything into that. Where are we? Girls trip I would like to put something into. I'm going to put um, £40 into girls trip. I'm needing to pay the rest of £95. Why, have, why is this not coming up? I don't know why this is messing me about. One second guys. Okay, I've got it back again. Um, right, pets getting nothing because Stitches does not eat anything. Um, Florida is not getting anything and neither is Holiday because if you know that Florida, our holiday was actually cancelled, so they're both not getting anything. Um, Garden and Home Improvement are not getting anything this month. I would like to, but realistically we just can't afford it right now. Um, and we need to treat ourselves as well, so... Hence why the girls tripping that and want to get the hairy paid for. School holidays get nothing. That gets remainders of my days out at the end of the month. And health is getting nothing. Now, car is actually getting something. That's getting £30 because we've had to pay for a tyre recently and I want to just kind of get that bulk back up. And then wedding's also getting something. That is getting 30 Now, before I do anything else, I want to definitely do my challenges just to see what we're needing. So, for my autumn one, I'm needing four weeks worth. So, I'm needing 20, 25, uh, 40, and then 60. So, that's 60. I don't have a bit of paper, one sec. So, seasonal is 60 and I'll put 224 just to remind me of the number. For my yearly savings, for the October one, I'm needing 10, 15, 20. And then for Christmas, I'm needing, I think it's 40. Yep, 40. So in total, we're needing 120 for my challenges. Now, if you're new to my channel, what I do is, this is my budget cha uh, challenges and then in my check-ins, any kind of remainder change or that go towards my other challenges that I've got going on just now. You definitely don't need to have as many challenges as what I do, um, but it's just, I prefer doing the challenges and kind of going towards a goal and then stuffing them like my sinking funds with the challenge money. Um, I just prefer it that way. So I've got £164 left. What I want to do is I want to put some into... Uh, eating out, so I want to put £50. 
that kind of gets us like one or two restaurants, depending on kind of what restaurants we go to. Um, Costco's not getting anything because I'm going on the first. Shopping trips getting nothing. Occasions is not getting anything. Um, gifts, I'm going to put 10 into because there's still £15 in gifts and I've only got one present to get for this month. Um, it's nobody else's birthday this month, so it's fine. One month ahead, it's not getting anything. Mortgage is not getting anything. The reason I got this one is because I'm hoping to do overpayments, but I'm just not in a financial position to do that yet. But I didn't want to not have it as a goal. Um, and in date night, I'm going to put... Um, let's go for £70. And then we've got £34 left. And I'm going to put the last 30 into Time and Friends because I want to save for Christmas time. So then that leaves us with a buffer of £4, <clears throat> which is totally fine. Um, yeah, so that's what we've got. And do you know what? All these zeros, once we get into the new year and I'm back to full pay, I'll be able to work on those. Um, but there's nothing really too desperate at the moment. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just checking all that. Right, so I'm just going to double check that that does match up. What? Thing it because it's actually... Um, make a noise. One one nine four minus two eighty minus twenty minus one forty twenty forty forty eighty twenty 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 five twenty five and then thirty thirty minus forty and 10, 70, 50, 30, 30, 40, um, 20, 110, 20. I still say I've got 14 left. Let me just double check that. Okie doke, so I actually have got another 10 left, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that into date night and make that 80, because Ryan and I are going to be um, on the, in no November, sorry, for like a date night, and what I'm going to do on this side, let's just kind of see what we've got for that, so at the moment in date night, We've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 15. So we've got 115 already. And I'm going to add 80. That makes 195. And then in challenges, I've got 250 from the summer challenge, and then I've got 100 in monthly challenges, which makes 350. So then all together, we've got 545. And I was hoping to have um, 700, so it's 250 for the hotel, and then I want. Um, 100 and kind of like so wait a minute say I add another sorry guys this is just like a little bit of an extra bit but I just want to make sure that I've kind of budgeted okay for it so if I've got five four five and I'm wanting um say 700 that's 155 I'm going to have 50 from the other challenge so that makes it 400 so that makes it 595 and then 115 from next month's pay 
hopefully. If not, I've got the Paris money coming back, obviously, because it was cancelled. So I could just take it from that because at the end of the day, we need we need a wee break. <laughs> um, but that's fine. Right. Um, okay, so give me a minute and I'll just get this all planned out. Okie dokie. So this is my plan for this month. I've obviously just divided it up into weeks. So for week one, I've got 470, week two is 290, week three is 290 and week four is 140. Once I get that money, I will pop it into these envelopes. Um, and obviously week one, week two, week three and week four. Week five, I'm not needing this month. Now in here, I've actually got some money that I never took off last month it's due to go in the bank um, for like placeholder money but what I want to do is I want to make sure take it off of this amount here that I need in my for donations and then that way I'm not taking out as much and don't need to go to the bank twice so I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40 so I'm wanting 3, 4, 5, 520s and 410s so let's see Originally I was needing 44 twenties, so what I'll just put is I'll put 39. Um for tens I was needing 20, so I just need 16. For nine uh, for fives I'm needing 18. And for ones I'm needing oh well, I've done that the wrong way. What uh Lumpty. One sec guys. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, for anyone who doesn't know how to get Sharpie off of these like laminated sheets, you just use either hand gel or nail polish remover is my favourite. And apparently perfume helps. So give it a go. Right, so one pound we need in twenty of. And that comes to twenty pound. Fives we're needing eighteen. And that comes to ninety pound. Tens we're needing sixteen, and that comes to one hundred and sixty. And then we're needing um, what did I say? Thirty nine, and that is coming to seven hundred eighty. So in total. Just makes better sense using that rather than having to go to the bank twice or putting some money in to take it back out again. Um, 90 plus 20. So I've got 1050 there, and then we've got 1070, 1090. 1,110, 1,130, 1,150, then 60, 70, 80, 90, which is totally right. So that's like what we're obviously doing. Um, so 1,050. And that's my budget with me. If you've got any questions, then let me know down below because I'm going to be doing a QA and a for my um, like September tally up. So... What I usually do is I usually go through my month, look into all my binders and see what I've got um, to, what I've got in each of my envelopes. Um, just to kind of give me some motivation, to give you guys some motivation. And it's just to kind of keep tabs on how much I've got in the house and like when I need to um, put a placeholder in, in one of them. Um, but yeah, it's definitely my favourite video to do just because of I see how like cash stuff works, keeps me motivated and honestly I just love seeing it all build up. Um, so yeah, I will see you all for my next video which will be that or it will be my check in. Um, so leave any comments or like questions down below and I'll get back to you with them and I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye!